Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com. Here we are again on our own. Traveling down the road of every neuron. I know. It's amazing. I met an American Idol. They were like, you're too good. You should just teach math. So I did. Okay. So what we're going to learn today is we're going to find the area of a kite. You know, you're like, oh, fly a kite up to the eyes. Hi. That's cool, right? I know. It's good. Kite. Okay. So we're learning what a kite is. Actually, we're not learning that. We're learning the area of it. But what a kite is, in case you've forgotten, a kite looks like a kite. That's why either, I guess, they named what you fly in the air after this. I bet they did. I bet the math thing came first. Math is always first. It's like running the Olympics and gets the gold and everything else is like, silver school. Okay, so the definition of a kite means that it has two sets of consecutive congruent sides. That's a mouthful. I know, it's the weirdest one to name out of all the quadrilaterals. It just means that it's got two side-by-side -side, um, lines that are the same. Okay, like, like these two are equal and these two are equal to each other. Does that make sense? Connected, it's like part of a Pac-Man mouth, and then the other one's connected. Well, they each have, they're congruent to, next to each other. They're adjacent sides. I feel like I made this worse. I'm sorry for all you people. Okay? Who cares? You know what it is. You just find the area. Area of a kite. That is one half times the first diagonal times the second diagonal. D1 and D2. Hey, colleges, sports, right? Okay, so diagonal one, diagonal two. Okay, cool. Now, doesn't matter. They can be either. Just the other one switch. Doesn't matter. Diagonals. They're all getting multiplied together. Doesn't matter. Okay. Now, this is the same formula we use for the area of a I'm waiting. Guy in the back, that's right, rhombuses. Why did I take so long? Because I was trying to remember. <laughs> I made a video on that too if you want to check it out. Okay, so let's uh, work a problem. Uh, I'm going to do one that's a little more uh, difficult or different. That way you can, if you know how to do it, you'll not do the other one. Okay, because if you have both the diagonals, all you do is you plug them in, multiply them down to half, you're done. So let's give you one that's a little more challenging and uh, maybe you'll uh, changeling it out. That's a Daniel Jolie movie. I had to make sense in the way I said it. But here we are, right? Okay, let's do one where we know, let's say here's the kite. I tilted it to make it a little more, dif more different. Say that's 15, one diagonal is 15. And let's say they don't give you the other diagonal. Let's say they give you the area. Let's say they tell you the area is 58.5. Okay? So here's my old saying, this is what I always say, you know what I always say in math, plug in what you know to find what you don't know. Okay? Got our formula here? Do we know our area? Yeah, it's 58.5. Now, do we know one half? Yes, we know one half. It's one half. Okay? People don't like fractions. I don't either. They're stupid and they're mean and they made fun of my mom once and I'm never going to forgive them. We take that one half, let's turn it into a decimal. It's easier to work with. It's only one of them, not two stories, so make it 0.5, okay? We have one of our diagonals, which is 15. All we need is our other diagonal, which I'll make D. That's it. We've got our formula. We don't have to draw any more on this mug. We've got our formula. We have one thing. We're going to solve it just like we do when we solve for X. You essentially abandon ship and get everything off of that side, okay? So let's get it off one by one. Let's get rid of the 0.5 first. What's the opposite of timesing by 0.5? Dividing by 0.5. Let's divide by 0.5. Divide by 0.5. On this side, that cancels out. And it's 15D. 58.5 divided by 0.5 is going to be 117. Now, you're thinking, that's weird. You're dividing it. Shouldn't it be smaller? Not when you divide by decimal. Because essentially you're saying, how many times is 0.5 go into 58.5. Now, if it was 1, it would go into the same amount. So essentially it's going in twice for every 1, because it's half of 1. Does that make sense? If not, who cares? I just told you the answer. So it's 117. Time in your calculator. Okay? Next, last thing you got to get rid of, you got 15 times D. Remember, to get rid of stuff on that side of the equal sign, you do the opposite. 
What's the opposite of timesing by 15? Dividing by 15. Our other diagonal is, what is that, 7.8? Sure. 7.8. That's the measurement of other diagonal, which is what if they would have asked for if they would have given you the area already. And they give you the other diagonal. Now, I'm going to test it. We can check our answers. We don't have to guess at this. It's just like when we solve a multi-step equation, which I have videos on too. All right? It's just like when we do that. We can solve it by plugging it into our original equation, which I've kind of marked it up, so I'll fix it. 58.5 equals 0.5 times 15 times, what did we just say it was? 7.8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply all these little guys together. 0.5 times 15 times 7.8. 58.5. Does 58.5 equal 58.5? Yeah, every day. Except for opposite day. And it doesn't. Okay, that's it. If you want, you can um, check out my website, tylertarver.com. Or if you want, you can go to my math website where I've got all lessons for geometry and beyond um, on there. And it's at tarveracademy.com. Follow the, go to the app, download it, just search Tarver Academy. Um, you can get all this help and more through your iPad or iPhone. Um, and maybe Android soon. I don't know. Maybe it's already there. Maybe this is the future. What do I know? I'm just a man. Um, and if you have some more questions on some more problems, I'll do my best to help you. Just tweet me at Tyler Tarver on Twitter and take a picture of it, and hopefully I can help you out. The end. Bye bye. Hey, thanks for showing up. Give me a subscribe and check out TarverAcademy.com. Pizza?